Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the 4th of July today and i um, going to work on a little project which is going to be making the uh, second hoop for our planishing hammer. And it's going to be a very simple design. We're basically just going to do a 180 degree bend instead of a 90 and uh, just determine how long we want the arms. And we'll make two of these clamping systems, one to hold the lower die post, one to hold the uh, planishing hammer itself and we should be good to go. We'll be able to smooth this weld out real easily and move on with the COE project. So I've got my inch and a half DOM here. I'm probably gonna cut it down before we throw it in the bender here. Just gonna decide where we want our center point to be and how long we want each arm. So that's what we're working on. Okay, so due to the depth of the uh, patch panels weld here, I've decided to go with about 22 inch um, depth on the uh, arms for our tube and I'm just bending it up now should have about 22 inches from the outside edge here to the uh, inside center we've got our 180 degree bent and um, we've already notched one side just notched in the other and figured I'd show you how I get the angles correct so on the uh, vertical plane, we're looking at 89.1 and uh, the arrow is pointing upwards. So when we check the horizontal plane, we're going to be looking for like a 0 0.9 with the arrow pointing downwards. And right now we're at 0.1. Now we're at zero, so we're going to want to bump the outside edge up a bit. And we are at uh, 0 0.9 with the arrow pointing downwards. Double check this side again. Should still be 89.1. Bingo. All right, so we're good to notch. And I made sure to mark my uh, my depth on the tube before I inserted it. I'm notching at a half an inch depth, which is a little bit too much. I'll have to file down these edges here, but it's not a big deal. Got some nice 90 degree corners here, so I know it's straight. And all we got to do now is make the collars out of the inch and three quarters, weld some plate onto them, and we'll be able to clamp the lower die in and the um, planishing hammer. So let's get it done. Here's our upper and lower clamps and starts at where we're going to put the bolts through. Just got to drill some holes and get it welded up. One of my subscribers was asking if I uh, do anything with these edges after I notch them with the tube notcher, and I do. What I do is, um, you can see how it's coped all the way out to the edge here. And I already started knocking it down, but these areas that come to a point, we're gonna knock down flat. And uh, you'll see the finished product here in a second. I just take a little file here and uh, grind it down. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but I took the point completely down on both sides. And that way, once we lay our part in there to weld, it gives us a, a better seam. You can kind of tell right there, ooh, hot. It just creates a perfect little V groove for the weld to sit into. All right, so the next step, got a piece of inch and a half tubing here. I'm gonna clamp both these clamps to, and then we'll get it welded to the hoop. So we've got everything assembled and lined up perfectly. I'm gonna throw some tack welds and get it welded up and then we get to work using it. It's almost ready to rock and roll. We just gotta let it cool down and then we'll get the uh, little air hammer swapped over and the lower die set and uh, we'll be on our way. All right, here's the finished product. On the uh, lower die post here, this is a separate set, a piece of inch and a half and inside of it is a piece of inch and a quarter so that I could slide the uh, original die post on there. It seems like it's gonna work out okay. It's not loose or wobbly or anything like that, so I'm not too worried about it. Looks pretty good though, let's give it a shot. Just getting started, but I figured I'd show you how much better the fit is, and it's a lot easier to use now. I'll go ahead and set the camera up and get a wide angle shot so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Just kind of going across the seam, back and forth until it's smoothed out, until we start to get a crown instead of it being sunk in. What we're trying to do here is stretch the weld seam.
some of the uh, inner floor pieces here to get further down this seam. You can kind of see how how flattened out the weld seam is getting there. Which means we are on our way. I have a feeling maybe the uh, the dip in it is just gonna have to be kind of pushed up, but we'll see. Been hammering on the back of the cab here for about five, maybe 10 minutes now. And you can tell on the uh, side closest to us, it's still indented down quite a bit but it's starting to get better on the passenger side over here. Slowly but surely. So I'm just kind of going back and forth across the seam like this and then long ways. And uh, I'll go ahead and put it on time lapse so you guys can kind of get an idea how this is going. I've gotten to a point on the uh, seams that I can reach that I'm okay with for now, at least until I'm able to hit other areas that are still shrunk really bad, like in here, and see what, what the rest of the metal does. So I've had to start removing some more of the uh, inner structure here, and you can see that's what I've cut out so far. I'm gonna have to remove a little bit more in order to access the seam, so I think I'm gonna break out the old angle grinder. Uh, I managed to get this complete corner out here. Basically the only thing holding us together is the door sill. And I've been smoothing out this corner a bit. It's definitely doing the trick. I think we're gonna have to do a little bit of reshaping with a hammer from the bottom and then smooth it out again with the planishing hammer to really get our crown back because it's just shrunk a whole lot when I did weld it, but I, I'm definitely making progress, so, you know, this thing ain't no professional planishing hammer or anything like that, but getting the job done. It's been a few more minutes, I'm still just running over the welds. I'm, I am noticing it's starting to get like a little bit of a wave to it, which means that the material is starting to stretch out a bit, and it, it will eventually get back to having just a nice kind of a curve to it and be slightly domed instead of sunk in in the middle there. But uh, it's coming along. I am gonna have to do all these portions where I bead rolled by hand because the uh, hammer's dies are too large for it. As far as the stretching was going, I was starting to think, you know, it looks like it's stretched enough, it just needs to pop up. So what I did was I grabbed my hammer and dolly and I held the dolly on the top side here and kind of held it ahead of where I was striking with the hammer. So hammer would be hitting back here and I'd have the dolly up here. And that was like pushing the downward peak of the weld up. And it actually helped quite a bit. We're nowhere near as bad as it was. I think just some more longer stroking with the planishing hammer um, is going to help straighten it out even more and then we'll see where we're at. Hey there everyone, so uh, today I'm just working on smoothing out the welds a little bit. I've planished them out pretty well. In some areas I think I might have gone a little bit uh, too much even. Um, there's a little bit of a high spot in these uh, long sections on the back of the panel, which means we may have to shrink it again a little bit um, or stretch some of these other areas out to kind of even it out. I'm not sure yet. I'm not going to do anything about it just yet. It still has a lot of massaging that's needed. But uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking an um, air grinder with two cutoff wheels stacked on there and just grinding down all the high spots on the weld so I can make a couple more passes with the planishing hammer and smooth everything out. And just goes just like this.
Well, I finished grinding down most of the weld on the top side. There is still some left on the bottom side that I'd probably like to get rid of before finishing up here, but I've started kind of manipulating the panel and um, it pops into the shape that I want it to be in for the most part. We're really close here. If, if we could just get the panel to stay in this position while smoothing it out, I think um, we'd have a really nice, a real nice seam there, but it gets a little bit worse as you get towards the center there. Uh, and those areas do have the ability to be pushed up as well. So still just trying to figure out if it needs um, more stretching or a little bit more shrinking. Gonna do a little research before moving along any farther, but 